This is a this is a demonstration of the features of the urinary bladder. This is how the uh, urinary bladder should be placed in the anatomical position. Place your palms like this, where the inferior lateral surfaces should be placed upon your fingers, and the prostate should lie between the palms. The features of the urinary bladder are. It has three surfaces: superior surface, two inferolateral surfaces, and a posterior surface that makes it four surfaces. And it has the following borders: the lateral border, the posterior border, and the anterior border. The identification of the posterior surface. can be done by the presence of seminal vesicles and the ductus deferens an empty urinary bladder is tetrahedral in shape and this is the apex which is directed towards the umbilicus and connected to the umbilicus by the median umbilicus ligament the base is nothing but the posterior surface and is related to the seminal vesicles this is the prostate gland which is present at the neck of the urinary bladder coming to the interior surface of the urinary bladder we can see the trigone of the urinary bladder this area is smooth as the mucosa on this layer is tightly adherent to the layers present below or the muscles present below we see three openings in the trigon that is the internal urethral orifice orifice and the urethral openings the trigon of the urinary bladder is smooth because the mucosa on this region is tightly adherent to the muscular layer present below the rest of the mucosa of the urinary bladder is loosely adherent or loosely uh, present on the layers below hence it is irregular and this is a demonstration of the relations of the urinary bladder present in the cadaver the apex is related to the umbilicus and is joined to the umbilicus by median umbilicus ligament base the base that is the posterior surface in males in males the base is related uh, the upper part of the base is separated from the rectum by a reticulovesical pouch the lower part is related to the seminal vesicles and termination of the vas deferens the neck that cannot be the neck is the lowest and the most fixed part of the bladder and is related to the prostate as you can see in the specimen in the upper part the superior surface in males is completely covered by the peritoneum and is in contact with the sigmoid colon and coils of the terminal gland the inferolateral surfaces these are devoid of peritoneum and are separated from each other anteriorly by the anterior border in males each surface is related to the pubis and the pubo prostatic ligaments as cannot be seen in this uh, cadaver as a, a point to be noted here is the empty bladder is tetrahedral in shape and the apex is directed towards the umbilicus and the base is the posterior surface but when the bladder fills up the inferior lateral surfaces become the anterior surface and the superior surface becomes the posterior surface